five pounds of muscle. Here is Bobby Lashley. His opponent to my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing a white with black and really needing no introductions as I said before, here is the one and only 322 pounds. Oh, Once again, your referee, Houston Lord, give the fighters a final instruction. Okay, gentlemen, y'all know the rules. And this is my command all the time. Keep it clean. Have it fresh. Touch gloves. Go back to your corner. All right, folks. Here Get your seatbelts on for this one. Here we go. It's Bob Sapp in the white trunks, in the black trunks, trunks is Bobby Lashley. Colonel, are you sure this cage can hold them if they come going toward us? Uh, we'll be all right. Here we go. It's Sapp coming at Lashley. Lashley shoots, tries to pick him up, and no! He gets it down on the canvas. Bob Sapp holds the head in, and is Lashley going to crack at him with the right hand. Now the left hands come down. How about this? He takes him right down where he doesn't want to be. He's in sort of a half-open garbage. He might just want to be full monitors. The right hands are coming down, cracking onto the head of Bob Sapp. Yeah, not, uh, it's not like you're doing a good job of getting the shit at least cross across his stomach a little bit to try to get space, but I don't think it matters at this point. Lash is too powerful. He's just hammer fisting his own in. Yeah, actually, you know, Lash was saying all week how he's going to stand up with Sapp, stand up and show up his boxing. He knows where his bread and butter is. Beautiful double leg takedown. Ground and pound. Well, he, he tries to get that leg over there. He's in the half guard now. And he doesn't seem to want to pass it because he's got enough room to rain down with his elbows. Coming down with the fist. He opens up that uh, guard a little bit. Does Bob Sapp. And he's uh, taking some punishment right now. Now look at this. Lashley trying to grab that wrist. Is he... No, I thought he was going to try to go for some sort of submission, but now he's back to bonding again. Yeah, he is grabbing his wrist, just, I think just trying to move it out of the way to try to rain down some more punches and stuff like that. But Lashley was probably saying that just so Sapp would think that he's going to stay with them and not expecting a shot. And then Lashley goes in for the shot. Well, this isn't exactly where Bob Sapp wants to be, but it's exactly what Lashley said to us that he would try to do, wear him down, break him down, get him tired and then take advantage of it. Is that Sapp looking for the underhook there? I mean, Sapp in a half guard here, not doing a half bad job on his back. I'm very surprised. Not half bad or half bad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, the elbow came down that time. He's trying to grab the wrist to stop him from really getting back. But as he grabs the left wrist, he gets hit with the right hand, and then the left elbow comes down. Sapp, look, I can't see if he's getting there. He's still in half guard. He, yeah, he's got the half guard and draw and then hit, trying to get out there as best he can. Seth might be see a half guard sweep or maybe a tuck and get cut, something like a tuck to a knee ball. Uh, probably. <laughs> but, uh, but if he, he keeps fighting for that left hand for the underhook, it's, it's what he should be doing, which is good. But, uh, I mean, the crowd doesn't understand last season. I mean, doing, doing his game plan. He wants to stay in half guard. He wants to keep ground and pounding. So that's what, what he's got to do. And yeah, the crowd would, would be much happier if they got up on their feet and just blasted the daylights out of each other. But that isn't the best way for Lashley to win this fight. Sapp would love it if they get back up. But he's doing a decent job holding him off. He's getting some damage doled out to him. But that's a big, big shot to get in this fight. Right. Just, just, just weighing him down, I think. I mean, Sapp will get, will, will get win just in this position, so... Maybe that's he's not really trying to pass the gut, although I just noticed that he had the heel kind of hooked around the ankle of uh, Lashley, so Lashley couldn't go out, but he's still able to rain down plenty of punishment from this position. Yeah, Sapp, Sapp is taking a little bit of a deal here. Very heavy. He's tapping. He just tapped. Did he tap? I think he did tap. Yeah, he did tap. But the referee didn't see it. Yeah, I think he just tapped. Well, let's see how much more punishment. Now he's got it. That's it. He's had enough. Lost the contact. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's fighting with contact lenses and he's crazy. Yeah. Man, I wear contact lenses and I wouldn't want to be taking any shots in the eyes wearing contact lenses. Well, we expected uh, a little more fireworks from the standing position, but for Bobby Lashley, the progression continues. 
Here he is taking a huge man down using his wrestling skills and then grounding and pounding him into submission. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much what the game plan should have been anyway, and I think that's what was, was his game plan the entire time. I don't think he ever had any plans of standing and boxing with him whatsoever. You no, know, that's that was the mind game. You know, he, he told everybody who would listen, I'm going to stand and bang with Bob Sapp. I've been working on my hands. We're going to go out there and slug it out. The bell rings, not two or three seconds in, Bob Sapp is on his butt. Now, let's be, be clear. As you see, the first tap, we'll be able to show you this on the replay, and you pick it up. And here's the tap that the ref did not see. Getting pounded, and it's pretty much clear as day that he's tapping. Yeah, how did he not see that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, ref didn't see it, and then the last just said, hey, i got to do it again, and did. And there's the real tap. <laughs> well, both are real taps, and here might this tap that uh, uh, the ref didn't see that one either. I'm sorry. I think it was the, the, the original one. Yeah, right? from a so, different, angle, different angle. It looked like it, yeah. And then, and oh, the ref pretty much just called it then, so he didn't tap. The ref just stepped in there pretty much, and he tapped as the ref. We're going to see in. that again because I thought he tapped the second time, and I I think the ref stopped it, and as the ref was stopping, he started to tap at the same time. Maybe Either way, <laughs> you know, he wanted to fight done. Yeah, One half does the other, you know? <laughs> okay, here we are. We'll pick it up again. We'll watch it with you folks at home. Last year, on the punches. Yeah. Bang, real hard shot that time. He's in trouble now. For yeah, there's sure. a tap. There's, there's a tap. Okay, so yeah. he did tap. Kind of tapped there. the back of his hand there. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that was that was the end of the fight. The first replay we had for you was the first tap, and then we showed you a second. Uh, it was the same angle, but it was a, definitely a tap. So it's submission by uh, punches and, uh, and okay, a, a tap on. Good. So a terrific first round victory for Bobby Lashley. Our ring announcer standing by. Let's make it official as we go to JD Lions. JD is uh, getting set now, uh, moving into position and. Like right now, and, and, I, and I know that you, you heard everything. I, 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 I,